Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Gemini. This is for Gemini Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for February. We are just going to see what comes up. We're going to start with one of these for an overall energy. What do we have for Gemini? What do we got for Gemini for the month of February? Keep in mind, this reading may or may not be for you. You know, I find that if people are in a happily ever after relationship, it probably is not. I feel like something is going down. <laughs> Interesting. It does. It feels like something is going down. Like the camera thing is, is going down. What the hell? Maybe something's about to go down, Gemini. What is going on here? What do we have for Gemini for February? Patience. Now, Taurus got this. Maybe you're dealing with a Taurus. I don't know. But this is patience is, is kind of like temperance. You might have to be waiting for something. Uh, patience is a virtue, right? And it, patience is can be difficult for a Gemini. You may also be evolving. You're going through some major changes in your life and you may be getting frustrated. Maybe you're getting frustrated with how things are happening. You know, maybe they're just not happening at the speed that you would would like, you know, and you just need to take it for what it is and, and take a step back and let things happen in divine timing. Divine timing is real. We do get a lot of people that don't realize that, though. They don't understand about divine timing. They really, really don't. I'm not saying that you do, but cross watchers are going to watch this as well. So, divine timing is real. Things happen as they should. Um, it feels as though a wish is being granted because I happen to notice like this is like a wishing well. And I think she has like a coin in her hand or something. It's like she's about to make a wish and, and let it manifest. Or maybe uh, this is the time where you've made a wish and it's starting to manifest. Okay? Um, so yeah, she definitely has something in her hand and she's probably going to throw it into that well by the looks of things. Um, but you have to wait, you have to wait, you just have to wait for it to happen. You know, when it's, when it's meant to happen, it will happen. So you may be getting frustrated waiting for something to happen, but it is going to happen. Okay. It is. I do believe that it is. Um, oh, we're going to get a couple of, uh, we'll take that one because it fell, but we're also going to get a couple of these. What do we have for Gemini? Two cards, please. One more. Oh, there we go. Bird flying. News is on the way. So you guys are waiting for something, right? It's coming. It is coming. Nest. Interesting. An emotionally secure, loving family is important to you. So you, you're, you must be waiting for something. You may be waiting for a partner. You may be waiting for somebody to come into your life. You're waiting, right? News is, it's coming. It's coming. You may be getting impatient. You're really, you're really wanting to have this security. You're wanting to have this family situation secure. Maybe you're waiting to get married or you're waiting for your life partner or you're waiting for um, somebody in your family to come back around. It's like it's all about family. It's all about security and that's what you're waiting for, right? So you're, you're waiting for something. News is coming about whatever it is. So it's like a wish is being granted too. I really feel like a wish is being granted. Um, and it, ha and, and something to do with your family or your nest and your nest is your home. So something to do with home, building a home with somebody. Interesting. So that this, this card fell out. So we are going to take it. Ooh, three of swords reverse. Now this is leaving the past hurts behind. It's a card of forgiveness. It's moving forward now. It's moving out of a painful situation. It's uh, healing. You're on the right path. It's releasing pain. So some sort of, it's, it's like maybe you've healed and it took a long time for you to heal. 
or somebody else has healed because this is like healed it takes a lot of time to heal it really does and and if you think about divine timing D you know you have to be healed a lot of times they won't bring you what you are wishing for until you've taken the time to heal so there's some sort of forgiveness healing going on here leaving the past hurts behind but this is going to go right here because that's your overall energy let me bring this down we're gonna do the celtic i call it celtic some say celtic i don't care mm, duality blocked you may on one hand i think that you are holding on to one thing on another you have let go. There's a lot of duality here. You know what I'm saying? Um, you may be protecting yourself. You may be in protection mode because of some past hurt, some heartbreak that you have been in. I think that you've been, there's been a time period with that patience card of healing. So there's a time of healing and there's blocking, blocking emotions, very, very guarded unable to open up not willing to open up that's your challenge your challenge is opening up you know now that you've done all this healing work are you can you open yourself up can you i mean that could probably that's what it looks like to me somebody here is very very guarded mm. Ooh, you're fear, you're afraid. You're afraid of not getting reciprocation, right? Wow, look at those reversals. Um, you're holding on to your stability, right? You're capable, you're strong, you're stable, you're solid, you're secure, you know your value. You know your value. That's a given, right? You know, you know your worth. <sighs> you have a lot to offer and you know it. You do know it. And I feel like Gemini this month you know you're very fearful of opening your heart it's it's very clear that you are afraid of 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 getting hurt you are definitely afraid of getting hurt i feel like in the past you were in like a near death situation with somebody something that made you feel empty and lost and dead inside very lonely uh caused a lot of exhaustion within you caused you to be fed up just caused a lot of emotional turmoil you know, in the past, it's just like, you know, this is, took a lot of your energy. It really, it's like you may have been dealing with a psychic vampire, put it that way. Somebody that really stole uh, your light, right? Put you in that dark night of the soul moment. So I think that that's where you were. That's where you've been. But, and you may be, you know, what's below you is, is this grieving period. I feel like, you know, that's what's... Y Yes, you have had to grieve. You've been in this grieving period. You've been sad. You've been in a state of depression. Maybe you have. Maybe you've been feeling like, why did this happen? Why me? Um, why do I get rejected? Why did I get, what did I do? Um, I don't understand. You know, that kind of energy. I don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. So I feel like that's where you have been. But I feel like now you have done a lot of inner work. I do. I feel like you have done a lot of healing. But now you're in protection mode. You're just like really, really afraid to open yourself up because you don't want to get hurt again. It's like, damn, now you have learned, you know, to be independent. If you are independent, if you're in a coupled relationship, you may be with somebody that is stealing your energy. I mean, you may be, and you may be sad. You may be grieving. You may be feeling alone if you are in a coupled relationship. You may be feeling like um, this person isn't telling you the truth. You may feel like this person doesn't love you. That, that Those are feelings. There's lack of hope. There's lack of, you know, um, I think there's a lot of fears. There's fears that this isn't going to last. There's fears of uh, instability right there is definitely some fears here but anyway if you're in a coupled relationship you you may be unsure of what you want to do this is definitely unsure you may be in some sort of denial or you may be avoiding something not wanting to see something this is if you're in a coupled relationship it could be if you're single as well this is somebody who is choosing not to see 
not I don't want to see it I don't want to hear it I don't want to believe it so you you may be protecting yourself maybe even subconsciously by blocking something out that you know deep down okay perhaps there is somebody here that isn't telling you the truth because of this judgment card reversed this is poor judgment this is a uh, uh, somebody that's not telling the truth and a lack of awakening, a lack of awareness. There's somebody in your environment that is is not being completely honest with you because this is in your environment. There is somebody around you. It could be a Scorpio. doesn't have to be. could be anybody. But this is somebody who's not completely telling you the whole truth. They're not. And, and it feels like this person... Um, refuses to listen to any advice this person um is not very spiritual this person may be guilty of something it's like they're guilty they are guilty they're guilty of what are they guilty of somebody in your environment is guilty of something what are they guilty of whoa my goodness gracious Ugh. now these are both cards of karma one is upright, one is upright, one is reversed. Oh, God. Now, this is uh, the truth. Legal. Legal issues. They may be something about legal. Something about a partnership. A union. You may be unaware of something. Because this is unaware. Somebody is unaware that this is a karmic union they are unaware somebody in your environment is unaware that this is karma this is a partnership that is karmic there is a karmic partnership here interesting I feel Gemini I mean Somebody may be unaware that this is a soulmate connection. There is, I mean, this is a soulmate, even if it's a karmic one, it is still a soulmate connection. It could be with a Libra, but there is a union here that is meant to be, it is definitely meant to be. But somebody is unaware of that. It could be somebody that you're dealing with. But this is guilty. Guilty of something. Guilty of what? May not be, but not communicating. Not working together. This person is afraid. There is somebody here that is afraid. They are definitely afraid. They may be afraid of, of a contract getting married. Somebody may be afraid of getting married. They don't, they don't, you know, they want the partnership, but they don't want to get married. Anyway, this, or they, if you are married and you are watching this, it's funny that I started this out. Most people, if you're in a happily ever after relationship, you don't need a tarot reading. You know, the three of pentacles reversed is not on the same page. Lack of harmony with others. Lack of respect. A need to refocus. Mm. Ooh, temperance reversed. Something is off. Something is definitely off. Now, with the judgment reversed and the temperance reversed, there's some sort of illness here. So somebody may be sick. I'm not trying to scare anybody. There's, a, there's somebody's not healthy. This is not healthy. Not healthy. Okay, so that's why I said sick. Not healthy. Not healthy. A not not healthy partnership. We have a partnership that is not healthy. There is balance that is needed. Somebody could be in a third party situation. I'm just being honest with you. And somebody is totally unaware of it. Don't want to believe it. Don't want to see it. So, I mean, hey, I can't. It is what it is. For some of you, some of you may be in denial. Because this is denial. You may be in denial. You don't want to believe it. Perhaps somebody is still married. Somebody could still be married. They still might be in a contract with somebody. And people get this illusion, right? They get this illusion. Oh, that's a, that's a karmic. They're with their karmic. That is the biggest pile of shit I ever freaking heard. That's a, that's a cop out. 
It really is. It's a cop-out. Anyhow, um, yes, we, we do have karmic relationships. We do. Every relationship is a karmic relationship. It really is. Everything, and this is about a lesson. Okay, the temperance is about, it's the journey of life that teaches us a lesson. And I know I'm going on a tangent on this one card, but there's karma that is teaching somebody a lesson, and it could be you. So there's a lesson to be learned about a, from a partner, from somebody that somebody has been with. Somebody may be unaware that somebody came into them lives to teach them a karmic lesson. That's what it was. Somebody came into your life to teach you a karmic lesson. Now you have gone through all this healing. Because there's, there's, this is healing, but this is lack of healing. Whoever you were with may not have healed. They can't move on. They haven't released. They can't. What the hell is this? I don't want to keep going on this one. They may still have feelings. They may still have feelings for you. Anyway, we need to move on. We're at 16 minutes here. Okay, so in your future, we have you taking a risk. We have you taking a risk, stepping into new territory. It's like you have this new opportunity. You are have this new opportunity right and coming right up. It may not have happened yet. It's right in front of you, okay? All of it, like, uh, out of the blue, okay? Uh, spur of the moment. Spur of the moment, you know, you're going to be presented with an opportunity to do something you have never done before. And it, and I, whoever, the dog is scared. The dog is like, oh my God, I'm getting out of here because this is scary. So there's, you're going to be given an opportunity to step into new territory that is frightening, okay? And you are being called to leave the past hurts behind, seriously. Don't take the past with you and step into this new territory. So yes, you're going to be given an opportunity to have a new beginning here to start a new phase and you're being called to step forward with blind faith okay so just just do it just do it um but there's so much fear here there is it's like somebody is still holding on to what happened in the past because this is this is uh going back to the past the wheel of fortune reversed now the wheel of fortune is also a karmic card so we definitely have a lot of karma here we have karma here and then we have the, this judgment which is labeled karma and the justice we have karma here so somebody is dealing with a karmic there was a karmic soulmate in the past. And you're going to have another one, okay? Just keep that in mind. Okay? So there was a karmic soulmate in, a pa in the past that came to teach somebody a lesson. This lesson was about self-love. And, uh... <sighs> so anyway, now we got... Now that somebody has learned to love themselves, they have a new opportunity. And they're going to be presented with this new opportunity this month. But there's a lack of faith. There's a lack of trust. And there's a feeling of... You know, I don't believe, I don't trust, I don't have faith in in uh, anybody. I see a real lack of trust here because of the, you know, lack of success in the past. Okay, there's a lack of success in the past. So there's there's just a lot of blocking any new opportunities that present themselves. But there is going to be a new opportunity that presents themselves to you. It could be, you could be dealing with an Aries, you could be dealing with an Aquarius, you could be dealing with a Sagittarius, you could be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, I feel like in the near future, okay, you are going to need to really open yourself up. You are going to need to stop resisting change. Uh... Cut your losses. Uh, stop flogging that dead horse of the past. I'm talking about this card right here. Um, stop. This is, when you get the world reversed, this is somebody who is refusing to explore new avenues. Stop. Stop. Open yourself up. So in the future, I see you like not moving forward you're going to be somebody it's like somebody is going to uh, step into your focus right they're going to step into your life and they're going to be interested say you're single okay they're going to or maybe even if you're coupled whatever this person wants you to give them a chance 
and you're like, no bother. I got better things to do. It's not at the top of my list. And, and it's subconsciously protecting yourself, just not giving this person the time of the day. It's like you're just not willing to give this person any of your energy, any of your time, any of your anything, because that's self-protection. I really see a lot of self-protection here. It's really time to leave the past hurts behind. This is the this is a time where I feel like you need to open your heart because there is somebody that is probably going to invite you somewhere. They may invite you out for drinks. They may invite you out for dinner. They may invite you somewhere on a date. I feel like you're going to be invited somewhere if you're single and you're probably going to be like, you probably make up some sort of excuse because you try to protect yourself. I feel like, um, you've had been through a horrendous loss right here. You have, you really, really have. I feel like, um, I need to tell you that you can't keep repeating those same past mistakes. And I see that it's like you're repeating the same past mistakes over and over and over again, because you keep on, you keep on looking back. You keep on thinking you're not good enough. You're not, you, there's something you did wrong. It isn't anything that you did wrong. I don't think you did anything wrong. I think whoever that you were with was a person that came into your life to teach you self-love. This person probably had addictions. This person was fake. This person, you know, they, the universe, this is a universe card, will use people as catalysts to teach you life lessons. And the temperance card is about a life lesson. So you were, you some, they brought somebody into your life to based on past life karma. Okay. That's why the judgment card reversed is here. Past life karma. So you had some past life karma to deal with, with somebody. And this person was brought into your life to teach you self love because this is self love needed. And this is self love. So you're probably going to meet somebody. You could meet this person. Um, it feels like you're going to meet this person, um, out and about after you know you've been in the car you've traveled somewhere or uh, i think it's a car um you're gonna meet this person um and it's gonna be a shock i think that it is gonna be a shock and i don't need the tower to say that it's gonna be a shock it's gonna be like this person walks up to you this person walks up to you and starts talking to you or it, whatever if you're sitting next to each other or something like that you could be sitting next to each other this person starts talking to you and you you start talking back and it seems like it's an easy conversation and you know this person invites you for something could be coffee could be drinks whatever and your my advice is to go go um if you are in a coupled relationship I feel like you will be presented with an opportunity to do something you've never done before. And that could be job related. This doesn't have to be relationship related. Some of you could be in a dead end job. Okay. There's something that is where there's no success. There's no more growth. And you keep on staying there because it's safe. It's safe. And this is what I see. Safety is big here. Whether you're coupled or single, it's like, it's safe. It's safe. Um, your hopes and fears is not being emotionally fulfilled. That's in your hopes and fears. It's like your, your fear of giving your heart away, your fear of rejection, fear of not being loved. So I think that's your biggest fear, right? It is now in the overall outcome is the star reversed. Now that is, um, not feeling good, feeling ashamed, feeling ashamed of who you are. Um, why now? Why is this happening now? You know, why is this, this, and this, it's where fear takes over. So the, I think you're going to, it's going to be fearful, fearful of why is this opportunity coming right now? I'm not ready. I'm not ready for it. You know, and all of a sudden, this is the perfect opportunity to have a new beginning. You may not be ready, but remember we started this out with divine timing. That's crazy. When it's time, it's time. And it's time for a change. And this is a change. It's time for a change. So things are about to change for you. And it may feel like it's not the right time. But it is. Good luck.